Nvidia ended up releasing a broken driver. ASRock gave us an update on actually working with Nvidia. Cisco and Nvidia are gonna be targeting AI, which is actually pretty cool. The RTX 4070 Ti and 4070 have had their prices drop. Cable Mod ended up recalling one of its 16 pin GPU adapters. Blender, this is a huge one for me, is actually going to be bringing support for AMD RDNA 3. Starfield is finally getting FSR 3. ASUS is going to be extending its warranties on their monitors. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. NVIDIA fixing a major issue with its graphics cards. This right here is the paragraph in this that we need to read. NVIDIA typically bug bundles bug fixes with its usual quote unquote game ready drivers, which my friends, that's why I always install the studio drivers. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyways, just update your drivers. If I was you, I'd update to the studio driver. So this right here, ASRock does not rule out making NVIDIA graphics cards, but it describes it as quote unquote challenging at present. So this right here, question, what are your plans for the future product lineup? Are there any plans to include NVIDIA graphics cards? Now, for those of you that are unaware, EVGA ended up backing out of working with NVIDIA as well. So I'm guessing that's kind of why ASRock isn't necessarily working with NVIDIA very often. Cisco and NVIDIA are going to be targeting secure AI with expanded partnership. In terms of specific products, NVIDIA's newest Tensor Core GPUs are going to be available in Cisco's current M7 Unified Computing System, UCS, Rack and Blades servers, including Cisco UCS X Series and UCS X Series Direct to support AI and data intensive workloads in the data center and at the edge the companies ended up stating the integrated package is going to be available in the second quarter and is going to include nvidia ai enterprise software which features pre-trained models and development tools for production ready ai dude i know that there's a lot of people hating on artificial intelligence right now but like as far as i'm concerned i'm very very interested in it you know what i mean like there's there's so many cool things that have been done with stuff that i enjoy because of ai so like using the the older like retro games as an example where stuff used to be in that like four by three aspect ratio or something like that like now that artificial intelligence is out man it's bringing these like ai generated like borders to make it actually like full 16 by 9 but it's not just like placements on the side it's actually like reading the game and like and it puts those there it doesn't stretch it it's not like flipping the image it's not just placing a photo there it like fully it like literally remakes the game and that that's ai doing that man and it just it has me very 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 excited because it's it, just stuff like that dude it's just super super cool with what ai is actually doing so um this right here nvidia geforce rtx 4070 and 4070 ti that's really all i need to say about that is a price drop this right here again very simple basic thing to go over cable mod ended up recalling its 16 pin graphics card power adapters due to a fire hazard and over 75,000 in property damage are um being claimed so far so i mean if you're i mean if you want to sue a company go for it but um yeah so this right here this is a big one for me dude because this is a huge like i don't know man i, I so i haven't to so i'm gonna i'm just being on i could literally not say this okay like i could not say this all right so when i say like amd i i have had all amd computers before guys and i've also had all amd laptops be, the main reason the first laptop that i got it was that the i have a review on it it was a white asus i got it at best buy i, I completely forget what it was but either way it had an amd stuff in it dude adobe always crashed on that always crashed non-stop all the time always so i didn't have blender in it and then the computer the, the one I was literally talking about like five minutes ago, my very, very, very first computer. Again, dude, the reason I upgraded to the RTX or the GTX 980 is because the computer kept crashing. However, I don't remember the specs of like the exact specs of that computer. And it was like, 
it was like a six hundred dollar computer which sounds cheap right now but we're talking like five years ago so um that always crashed as well that i was using sony vegas at that time i wasn't using adobe for <laughs> that was <laughs> i actually pay for the cloud now because there is a lot of like there's adobe's always like updating their software and adding like all this ai stuff but back in my day bro like everybody was like downloading the free sony vegas uh stuff but uh anyways this is so really just to update blender if you're um you know if you have like an amd or to be honest just update it in general so blender cycle updates open image denoise gpu acceleration supports for gpus nvidia gtx 16 series titans and then all the rtx gpus amd rdna2 and rdna3 generation discrete gpus intel arc with the xehpg architecture apple silicon with mac os version 3.0 13.0 and newer and then these are some other upgrades option disable bump map correction amd gpu rendering support linux cpu rendering performance that was improved by about five percent across all benchmarks so next up is again something pretty pretty simple and basic for me to cover it's just starfield beta now supporting amd fsr3 so that's really all i need to say about that one this right here asus rogue oled monitor now with a three-year warranty for burn-in and um you know asus makes some really good products so um i actually i got some like dirt i have a review on them dude but like dirt cheap 4k 144 hertz and i haven't had i've been using them for since christmas because i gave my the the samsung odyssey i think it seems what it was called the the 32 by 9 super ultra wide monitor i get well i gave that to my stepbrother-in-law for christmas as a, as a holiday gift because i mean if it's not obvious i'm constantly reinvesting into my youtube channels you know what i mean so i'm, I'm always buying new stuff monitors gaming wise gaming keyboards computer stuff that freaking air fryer dude oh my god man that air purifier this dude what a difference in here right now dude, it's been only been running for a day go watch yesterday's video it wasn't right there i literally even have a box i'm actually gonna review that on not for youtube but on amazon i'm literally gonna freaking make video on that thing dude it's fresh i cannot believe dude i clean a lot I don't want my PCs all dusty. I'm just saying, dude, that thing works really freaking good. Anyways, next up is Disney and Epic Games announcing a partnership with Fortnite. I just want to show you. Woo, that's going to be loud. I just want, I got to show you guys. This is insane. Hold up. There we go. Full screen. Oh my God, it's widescreen anyway. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Dude, it's super cool, man. I think that this is sick. Cause I'm a like, I, dude, I'm a, I'm a, like a superhero, and like I like Star Wars, and like, unfortunately, Disney bought all that stuff. <laughs> and I, dude, I like cartoons still. I think that this is sick, man. 